you doing today? I really hope you are well. So, in today's video, I'm going to be here with you because I know you suffer with BPD. And I'm going to try my best to give you some advice and help to try and keep you calm, keep you relaxed and just keep you from stopping um, thinking bad thoughts. I know BBT is very hard to deal with because I have it myself but I just want you to know that you are not alone and you have all my support but before we begin please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video turn on post notifications so every time I post a video you'll be notified Okay, so we are going to begin. There's going to be no cuts for this video. So, I suffer from BPD and the way I deal with my trauma is to think about the bad thoughts that are there and then just let them pass. Recognise that they are there. And understand why they are there. And try to think of things that make you happy. Things that once brought you joy. Things that make you happy in the moment. And if none of that works, you could do things that you once did enjoy, go outside, play football, play rugby, I don't know, whatever you do, do that. And I'm sure that the comfort that you get from that will make you so much better. I understand your pain, I understand your suffering, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly normal to feel your way. I completely understand how you feel. BPD is a real mental health emotion and the way I deal with it is I tend to just keep myself occupied by playing video games or doing my YouTube. Other things, if I'm not doing those two things, I tend to um, talk to friends about my illness or I talk to my family about it but I just want you to know that you are never alone okay you've always got me here I'm never going we must not put ourselves down because of our illness we recognise that it's there, but we have to do things to try and distract our brain from thinking of anything else. I know it's hard. I totally understand that. I really do. And I'm here for you. I really am. <sighs> BBD is a very complicated emotion and the biggest one for me is to not feel abandoned by other people. So for example when somebody has to go home or when somebody leaves you to go out or if they are saying bye to you over the phone. Those are the type of struggles that I deal with. I don't like to be left alone. I don't like to be on my own, to be lonely. So I totally understand what you are going through. 
And it's totally valid to feel that way. I totally get it. I totally understand you. And I am always here for you. I am always here. I just have to ask you a question. Do you like laying on my lap? Do you? Well, your head's not heavy. It's not like it weighs 20 pounds. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. But, but seriously, like, you know you are worth more than you say. You are, you need to be kind to yourself. You need to stay positive. You need to ha be very optimistic about life. And you need to just take time out for yourself, you know. Give yourself more credit where it's due. And try to not let it eat you up inside. Because I know how difficult BVD can get at times. And just know that you're never alone. Um, it is a constant struggle and it's something that we just have to deal with and get used to but I'm always here for you I'm never going to let you go you've got me to fall back on and I'm always here always, always here and I just want to say that you are strong you are beautiful you are absolutely amazing and there is nothing wrong with you, okay? There is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. You are worth more than you know. You really are. Just because you have illnesses, conditions, doesn't make you any less valid, any less valuable to people and to the world, to your family, to your friends, nobody. You are valid and you matter. To everyone. I care about you. I really do. And. If it wasn't for me. Doing this video now. I could have at least. Helped. At least a few people. And by me doing this. I've made sure that. You are not alone and you're not fighting this alone because I'm with you every step of the way. <sighs> Fighting BPD is a real struggle and if you keep doing the things that I mentioned earlier every day, make it become your routine. I'm sure that you will um, bypass all those illnesses and situations that you're going through. I don't want you to think of yourself any less valuable. And I don't want you to keep putting yourself down all the time because you deserve the world and I don't want you to um, put yourself down by telling you telling yourself that you are ugly that you are not worth it that you are not that you are just worthless and you don't belong here because that's not true you do belong here you are not worthless you are strong, you are beautiful, you are kind, caring, and I know that about you. 
you really are kind, caring, compassionate, valuable, respectful. You have a lot going for you and I really do appreciate you being in my world, in my life. Because you mean everything to me and I don't want to lose you. So we're going to do some breathing exercises now just to keep you calm. And after the breathing exercises, I'm going to tell you what's next. Okay, so make sure that you repeat after me. So let me bring my microphone closer. really hope by me being here with you today has helped you and to be honest I've had BPD now for a couple of years I'm still learning and understanding what it means to have BPD and if I've missed anything in this video that you would like me to point out next time just please leave it in the comments below and I'll make a part two sometime. If I have mentioned anything in this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and give me a compliment in the comments. Tell me how you how well you think I did. And if you want to compliment me as a person, you can do that as well. I appreciate compliments. But on a serious note, I'm with you all the way. I'm not going to leave you. I know what it feels like to be abandoned. I know what it feels like to be left alone. And it's not nice. But you have me now. And I am not going anywhere. I am not leaving your side. You are safe. You are secure. You are loved. You are powerful. You are strong. And you matter to the most people in your life. Your friends your family, strangers, people who you've never talked to, people from the unknown, animals. Everybody loves you and you need to understand that. Once somebody's gone from this world, you can't get them back. So make sure that you love someone with all your heart and Always make sure that you tell them that you love them because this world is very small and this world we live in is very cruel to those who want to be kind. But if you bring kindness to the table, kindness wins over hate all the time. And I know you're probably sitting there thinking, but I've got hate in my life every day. Well, darling, so have I. And the way I cope with that is to put it in the back of my head and just listen to music. Talk to your partner, your pet, your family members if you, if you have any. Or, you know, someone that you know. It doesn't even have to be people you know. It can be anybody. 
you like talking to strangers, do that. But I'm really hoping that I've helped you today. And um, I just want you to know, again, that you are safe on with me and on this channel of ours. This is our little army. And I want you to know that, that I'm never going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I love you and I want you to be safe. I want you to be happy. And I want you to go on living a, an old, fulfilling life. Okay? I hope you stay safe. I hope you have a blessed weekend. Love you so much.